Greetings to all of you guys and welcome to yet another edition of Shillong Buzz. I'm Aaron Lingdo. It's a beautiful day here at Tanisha's resort. It's time we go meet my guests this episode. Gracing the show is my latest muse, the 22-year-old singer, songwriter, and dancer from Nongthamai Pinursla, who is making noise for all the right reasons. He's a social media sensation, taking the internet by storm, one music video at a time. His cover single "Doi Doi" is the talk of the town with its catchy rhythm that makes us want to sing along and dance. He's got the moves. He's got the voice. and he is in the house brace yourselves for the very suave the original one halang kongsi no boy per khan nga ha de kin na jing ye jen pan tha doi na phi la mo thok nu hoi po shu one bhai it's a pleasure to have you with us i welcome you to the show thank you so much ba you know what uh, a lot of people know you already But I still want to kickstart this interview by asking you a little bit about yourself, and I want you to tell us a little bit as well about your family background. Okay, my name is Wan Bhalang Kongsil, and I came from a very small village called Nongthamai from Panusla. And in our family, there are six of us, and I'm the first born. And when it comes to music, I used to dance for one job first of all, and then later on in life. I came to realize that I love my love for music and the passion that I have for music made me the way I am today it is because of the people that love my music but it is that motivation that I get from all of my friends from one job himself as we know him as one of the best singers now in Meghalaya so yes I used to dance for him but later on as we move on to that phases of our lives to get to know a little bit about ourselves and i realized that i can also sing so why not write a music why not dance at the same time and it is through the love and the support of the people that made me what i am today and i cannot forget that right and you also hold a bachelor degree in business administration so how did singing and dancing begin if we taking from singing and dancing I used to love singing and dancing since I was a kid. Right. Mm. So as we pursue that dreams in our lives, let's just say as a Khasi we already know there is a saying that we call in Khasi, "Pidai bej bandon ka kam ka jam." Hmm. We have to have a job. So us as a local people, us from let's just say what we call in Khasi Nongkendong, the only thing that strikes our mind is having a job or maybe a government job. and that is what something that will make us a successful human being so <clears throat> as we move on to that part of our lives where i find dancing and singing as a profession it is just two or three years back that i took it very seriously but that was just before before all of this happened i used to take like i have to study in order to get a job in order to become someone i agree But then later on in life, you have to show like if you have an interest in something, then why not make it like something to let's just say how do I say it to feed you something that you have to help your family through it. Exactly. So that is how dancing and singing like took part in my life. Like it is something that. It is true singing and dancing that I got to realize it can also make you the person that you are today. Interesting. Speaking of artist, how yeah. would you describe yourself as one? As a, what art? What kind of artist are you? How would you describe yourself? To say that in in such not a very arrogant way. Mm. maybe maybe i will never know if there is someone who who has been like me 
who are like me because I guess I'm the first artist in Sri Lanka to dance professionally and to sing professionally at the very same time. Yes. So I do not know if there are many, there are many smart that I cannot deny. But the thing is to come up front for, for the people to know maybe I'm the first. Hmm. So when it comes to singing and dancing, if you're, if you're asking me how to describe myself as an artist, I would say I am the people made artist. The people made artist. Uh, because it is through the people's support, it is through the people's love, mm. it is through the people's kindness, it is everything. What I am today it is because of the love by so many people. So I would say I am not, maybe, I did work hard in my part. I cannot deny it. But it is through the love mm. of the society, through the love of the people that made me what I am today. So I would call myself a people-made artist. Interesting. Now, you know what, we all have <coughs> aspirations. Some want to become doctors, some want to become engineers. For me, uh, I want to leave a lasting legacy so people can remember me when I'm gone. Yes. You told me before the interview that your aim is to be kind. I find that very intense in the first place. What made you say that? You see, from a very, from a very young age, we are thought to have aims like pilots, engineers, doctors, everything. But nobody has a aim to be kind. Why do I say this? To be kind. When you are kind to someone, when you are being helpful to someone, when you show love and kindness to someone, maybe from your part you won't feel anything, but from their part they will remember you for the rest of their lives. So you know what, your latest release, Doi Doi, hmm. it's stuck in my head since the time I've heard it. And a lot of people <coughs> here in town are loving hmm. the song, that's for sure. Yes. Did you expect that the song would be such a big hit? Did I expect? From my point of view, I, I do not expect it to be this way. Mm -hmm. This hit, mm. I expect it like to people, for people to love it and that is all, but not to become this hit. Like, the song is very viral nowadays. I, I did not expect it to Some be this Some million way. views, I mm. guess, yeah. So, the thing is, when it comes to the hitting of the song, I already know it's going to be a hit because it is a cover hmm. of Sean Kingston, Yes, Beautiful Girl. And there will be a lot of hate comments, especially coming from a Khasi society. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So there are the things that we say in Khasi. I would like to frame that in another way. It is a remake in a Khasi version, okay. not to. Because Ladanga to, it means I am hurting somebody. If, if I steal, I am hurting somebody, in it? So let's just say, if I steal your wallet, and your wallet has a lot of money in it, won't you feel like heartbroken? Right. right. Like, when it comes to this, it is a remake to a Khasi version. So if the artist saw it, they would be more than happy. Oh, my songs, it has reached to this part where people would like to make it in their versions. One Bhai, you told me before the interview a little bit about your father as well and how you thought it was the end of everything for you when he passed away. Yes. First of all, I'm very sorry that you had to go through all of that. How did you pull yourself up and bounce back from the most difficult situation that I can possibly think of? It is not true what I can do. It's what true God can do it for me. If I put myself before God, He will pave a way for me. Yes, I did not deny it that my father's demise has to... That has took me to the point of my life where I almost gave up everything. But just when I thought it was the end of everything, it was actually just the beginning. So, yes, as, as a son, I am very heartbroken and that point of my life is the point where I actually feel that 
it's better to just die anyway. What else? What else would I do? I just passed my bachelor. I do not have a job. I do not have anything going on with my life. So what should I do? And why should I exist anyway? That point of my life is where I, I would call it depression. Hmm. But the thing about depression is just, is, it is just a feeling. If only you let it get stuck into your head, it will only eat you up. But if you choose to fight for it, if you choose to fight for who you want to be, and if you put everything before God, then trust me, you will get anywhere in life. To be very honest with you, I really don't know where is this maturity coming from. You're just 22 years young to, you know, for screaming out loud. Anyway, let me move on with my next question. You know what, you've got this undeniable showmanship, you know, that uh, your fans, <coughs> not your fans, your supporters can relate to. Where do you think that skill comes from and how do you think it's important for artists in the 21st century to own showmanship? Talking about showmanship, <clears throat> let's just say from a, from such from a very young age, my mother is a teacher. So my mother used to groom me in such a very beautiful way. My mother is my mentor. So if you're talking about showmanship, if you're talking about all of this stuff that people are seeing me, I would like to give that to my mother. Brilliant. You know what? Uh, who do you look up to? in the music industry. I know that uh, one of your biggest <coughs> fans would be Hrithik Roshan, but again, that's in a different genre altogether, but in the music industry. In the music industry, to? okay. My inspiration itself comes from the, from Malung that we call in our society, Sosal Thaan. But, <laughs> okay. but if we're talking about international artists, mm. all right, if you look, if you look, carefully into my accounts, be it Instagram or YouTube, you'd see that I started my career doing a cover on Camilo's song. He's a Latin singer. Latin guy, yeah. Mm. Mm. He's a Latin singer. And I draw also my inspiration from him. Okay. I do not understand what he's saying. But you can relate to him somehow, yeah. Mm. I do not understand what... what is he trying to convey in his music? Hmm. But I just vibe to it. Mm. <coughs> but if we're talking about international, I draw it out from Camilo. Mm. I draw it out from Michael Jackson. Mm. I draw it out from Bun Bruno Mars. I draw it out from Chris Brown. I draw it out from Chimbala. Maybe most of our classes do not know him, but they, they have heard his song, but they do not know who he is. Huh? Chimbala, Selena Gomez, even though she's a woman, but she inspired me. Yes, yeah. why not? Wan Bha, you know, the entertainment industry is very brutal. You know, you have to keep reinventing. You have to keep coming up with something very new. So that means uh, you're always <coughs> on the run because there would always be another artist waiting to take your place. Now, how do you navigate and survive, let's say, in this cutthroat, fast-paced industry? The thing about this industry is you'll never know. You'll never know. Why? Because people can hate you today. Or people can love you today and hate you tomorrow. Fact. The thing about this industry is that. And you, do, you will never know how many people are you going to trigger. If you're talking about the generations today and the music produced today, we have to match. Let's just say, I came from a very, let's just say, small, like somehow educated family. So I have to match what we call in Khasi, Kaburam. Hmm. But if we look at today's generation, right, that has come to, it has gone down bit by bit, yeah. down. So <clears throat> we have to match our music. We have to match it with the generation. I do not know how I am going to produce my music from now onwards. But all I know is that I have to match with the generation if I want to stay in this industry for so long. True. 
Now, if you were to give an award-winning speech right now, how will it sound? And I want you to look into the camera while you do that. An award-winning speech. Yes. This, is, this goes out to the people, to each and every one of you. Hmm. So, I'll put this in Kasi. Okay. Ngawan nakasinong kabanong kendong. Ngawan nakasinong kabom dabit dabiang. Ngawan ru nakalong yeng long sem kam tam e kabom dabit dabiang. Henry ngan ay tang kaway ka kentian sa pibaro kinong pen. To siya niya how try. Na markumbaw try hi uang. I'll put this in English. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And if he is before me, who can stand against me? And that is my winning speech. Well, I couldn't think of a better way to end this interview. However, I still want you to do us something, which is a little bit of your doi doi performance for a very good ending. How's that? Okay, fine. I'll go with that one catchy, you know? We'll do that. That four catchy sentence. Cool. Yang api pen king maloi, immensium rudoi, toy don't know balapai, manu kin ban pendai, wo mei. Yang a tanki jing so san. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for your time, Wanba. It's been such an insightful conversation. Like I said, what I like about you is uh, you come across as this very mature person for your age. Thank you so much for saying a yes to this interview. I wish you the very best of luck and God bless. Thank you so much. And I'll put this in Kasi. Bangin pelajing mon tu nado dangred ilah say la tracy tom bad meat bad sni banyak pelajar sekolah yang ini we have to do it anyway. I'd like to thank you a lot for giving me this opportunity, and yes, I will try my best over and over again to you know to become that person that you are today, a good for the society itself. So thank you so much, Baron. Thank you to you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You, habarun bapi kapor kaya steri nyam so tu. ฉันบ่พี่วันกี่ขอสู่จงไงเอ็ดกี่ขึ้นอยู่ไงยังบ่พี่วันบันเสือไปเอ็มมาเมนส์โอนลิวกี่ทับบาลีอากาศเพลก